Dr. Leo, wake up. It's time for you, Zach, Vicky, and Ron to get ready for your first day of school. Mom, it's literally 5.45 in the morning. School doesn't start until 8.15, hence the new school hours. That's two and a half hours from now. Why on earth are you waking me up so early? FYI, because I really, really, really want to make sure that you, Zach, Vicky, and Ron are ready. I want you, along with your siblings, to get up and have super yummy breakfast in the kitchen. But be quiet, your father, Tom, is still asleep, because he works as a mechanic and his shift starts at 9.30 sharp. Okay, you know when I'm licked. Sheesh. Just a sheesh. So Dr. Leo, Zach, Vicky, and Ron, do you all have your stuff together? Yes, yes we, we do. do. Okay. You all should probably be heading out now. Okay, okay. bye. Bye. See you real soon. Oh, hey Dr. Leo. Oh, hey Zach and Ron. Oh, hey Vicky. Hey Bluey, Bingo, and Muffin. Anyhow, it's good to see you all again, even your only sister and two brothers. I know. I wish I could see you healers, including Socks, who hasn't started school yet, more during the summer. But I kept getting grounded during the Tail Slandian Gardens era and my parents and siblings kept taking my phone, PlayStation 5, and others away. Well, I did since I lived with Skipper, my older brother, recently. Well, Pip, I most recently got grounded for misbehaving at that stupid orientation program called Starter Labradors while my siblings behaved. Actually, as a matter of fact, I didn't even go to orientation, but Skipper did. All of you are lucky. Well, most of you, actually. My mother forced me to go against my will, along with my siblings. Anyway, did you get your classroom assignment, along with your siblings? Yes, we all did. Although we are told to stay seated until the driver says it is okay to stand. Oh, we're all in the same class as you. Except for Pip and Muffin, who are in Mr. Deepon's class, and Bluey and Bingo and Mrs. Jenny Momoboshi's class. The rest of us are in Mrs. Kobana's class. Yeah, right, Mr. Deepon told us that slippy-head Miss Akobana for the 2018-2019 school year, and the fact is that the 18-19 school year is the only school year Slippy had that teacher. She was Miss Juniper at the time. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. I just love your friendly voices. Anyways, my name is Miss Akabana, and I will be your teacher for the 2023 to 2024 school year. Now, in a few moments, Dr. Momoboshi will call us down to the all purpose room for the assembly over the intercom. But for right now, I will be passing out name cards to each and every one of your desks, along with a permanent marker. Make sure to write your real name, first and last, not a celebrity name, fake name, stage name, inappropriate name, or any nickname. I will also be passing an attendance sheet as well while I tape your name card to the front of your desk. In that case, you can design your name card in any way you want after you write your full name, first and last. After I pass out an attendance sheet, please make sure to sign it with a pencil or a mechanical pencil, or even a pen at the end of the school day. If your supplies are not unboxed yet or need the price tag cut off, come up to me and I'll get you set up by emptying your supplies into your pencil pouch or pencil box, then put it under the top of your desk while you are at it. I'll even unbox your school supplies or cut off the price tag on certain supplies you've bought recently. Good morning, East Stratford Academy staff and students. Thank, Thank you for your patience. patience. All, all classes, classes can report to all the room for the assembly right, right now. Again, Again, thank you for your patience. patience. All right, everyone, I will walk you all down to the all purpose room right now. Gael, can you be the line leader? Sure thing, Miss Akabana. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to East Stravenberg Academy, home of the Labradors. My name is Dr. Stella Momoboshi, and I am the proud principal of this school. 
Assisting me in my duties as your principal is your vice principal, Mr. Kenny Clark. Also, everyone, I would like to introduce you to your guidance counselor, Mrs. Lily Jericho, who had nine years' experience in education, four at Harmony Science Academy McFarland County as a seventh grade English teacher, two at Breeze Point High School as an AP precalculus teacher, two at Norwegian Ridge Junior High School as a band director, and this year, she is officially a guidance counselor. This is her first year here at East Drav, so let's hear it for her. Ladies and gentlemen, all of us have an open door policy, so feel free to come talk to us at any time, but you must have permission from any teacher to do so. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be going over some policies, listen carefully. Our first policy is our attendance policy. Every time you are late for class, have a parent sign you in at the office and pick up a tardy slip. The first three days and first week that you get an unexcused absence or tardy, you will get a warning notice. The fourth, fifth, and sixth times are a silent lunch. Luckily, we've invented this method ever since. And the seventh or subsequent offense, which counts as a repeat offender, is an after-school detention. Take this policy seriously as attendance is the number one reason detentions are given. Apparently, as attendance is required by Eleanorian law, if you get 10 or more unexcused absences in a whole year, we will have to report you to Sheriff Labrador or General Pepper in the Cornerian Army, and either one, along with ourselves, will sort it out. Up next, I will be going over the cell phone policies. Ma'am. This is just so boring. It's the first day of school and she's making already making all these crazy rules. These don't make any sense at all. Ahem. But I can hear you being disrespectful at this moment. You know who you are. You better stop it, but I am afraid I will have to give out a detention on the first day of school. Anyway, at this time, Mr. Clark will be going over the lunchtime and recess policies. Good morning, students. I will now be going over the lunch and recess policies. Kindergarten lunch period is from 10.30 to 11 o'clock, first grade is from 10.50 to 11.20, second grade is from 11.05 to 11.35, third grade is from 11.15 to 11.45, fourth and fifth grade is from 11.25 to 11.55, along with Miss Okabana's and Mrs. Momoboshi's classes, and sixth, seventh, and 8th grades are from 11.55 to 12.25, 12.05 to 12.35, and 12.15 to 12.45, respectively, while Mr. Dupont's class is from 12.20 to 12.50. Recess times are 5 minutes after lunch time ends. Grades K to 5 are on the playgrounds, and 6 to 8 are in the gym. Dr. Leo, I need you to come with me now. Not later, now. Oh, peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter. And jelly. I just heard that you are being disrespectful to me during the assembly. And Dr. Leo, remember when you got kicked out of the orientation Monday and I warned you that if you got in trouble on the first day of school again, you would get a detention? Well, yes, I do remember that. So, in that case, I will be giving you detention for 90 minutes after school in a couple weeks. Now go back to your seat in the all-purpose room and I will give you your detention slip later on. Also, you better behave or your chubby chickens will be next in line. Sheesh. And this concludes this assembly. Thank you for your patience. You may head back to your classes right now. So, class, tell me how the assembly went so far. I want to hear responses, starting with Tito in the very back. Went great. Lovely. Very nice. Went smooth. Nothing crazy happened. Fascinating. Swell. Very doggone good. It was nice. He has some. Same here. Nice. But, I agree with my brother. Very nice. Same here. I agree with Vic and Zach. It was completely stupid, 
lame, and crazy all in one. Hey! That type of attitude is not appropriate and strictly forbidden, and I will never, and I mean never, have that in my class, you got me? Sorry. But anyway, I will be giving you all your very first assignment. All you have to do is make a one-minute presentation of what you did this summer, and you will all be presenting it tomorrow. This should be a really easy assignment. So, you may all get out your Chromebooks and iPads and start working on it. I believe some of you still have your Chromebooks and iPads from last year, unless you attended a previous grade at a different school district, state, or city. And if you don't have a Chromebook or iPad, you may come down to see Mrs. Buchanan in the library to get one. This is so impossible. How am I supposed to make a presentation of what I did over the summer when I never really got to do anything because I kept getting grounded for failing to stop power Zack and for pranks I did over the months? I have a better idea. I will just play games on the internet archive on either the Wayback Machine or Flash Emulator via Ruffle instead of doing this impossible assignment. But I thought all the video game websites, as well as internet archive, were blocked by the school internet. Yes, but maybe now that we're at East Ravenburg Academy, they are no longer blocked thanks to new efforts. It's always worth a try. It is. Yes. I got it to work. So, what are you excited about? The banana splits moving in with your family. Oh, um, nothing. Hey! What are you doing playing Flash games dating back to the 1990s, 2000s, and 2010s when you were supposed to be doing your assignment? Okay, fine, I just don't feel like doing your lame mass assignment. Watch your attitude. That simply does it. I am taking your Chromebook away from you. You can retrieve it from Dr. Momoboshi later right after I tell her what you did. In this case, get out a sheet of lined paper. You'll be finishing this assignment with paper and pencil only. If you evade this, you'll end up having a chat with your social worker. Got it? Oh, peanut butter. I'm really in trouble now. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Face, don't say and sing that again. Sheesh. Just a sheesh. All right, class, line up. It's time for specials. Silas. Would you be my line leader this time? I guess I can, Miss Akabana. Good morning, Miss Akabana's class, and welcome to physical education. My name is Mr. Wolf, and Mrs. Grayling will be assisting me in my PE teaching duties. We will begin by taking a pretest which we have already passed out to you. Your specials time is 45 minutes from 9:50 to 10:35. Since this is a pretest, it is not graded. But still, try your best. This pretest consists of the following 15 lap walk, 10 lap run, 20 jumping jacks, 5 sit ups, 5 push ups, and for the last part of the pretest, you can do any exercise you want. You mean you two are going to give us exercises that we can try on our own on a pretest that's not even graded? The pretest will begin in about a minute. As a matter of fact, you know what? I don't even feel like taking this stupid, lame ass, impossible pretest. Hey, watch that attitude of yours. As a matter of fact, take this, you furries who became excuses for teachers. Ouch. My crotch. Ow. Ouch. Do you really have to do this to us? Ah, oh, we, 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 we. That's it. We've had it. Get the hell out of our class right now. We will not be having the type of disrespect in this gymnasium. Seriously, we won't. Sorry to disrupt your class, Mr. Wolf and Mrs. Grayling, but what in the name of Para Warner Viacom is going on in here? Well, Mrs. Grayling and I were just kicking this student out of our PE class because he was being so disrespectful when Mrs. Grayling and I tried to give Miss Akabana's class the exercise pretest. Is that so? I see. I was actually here to drop off a detention slip for him, but I can take him back to my office. 
Please do so. Come on, Dr. Leo. Let's go on down to my office to see what's what. Well, here we go again. So, you got in trouble yet again, didn't you? Yes, I did. But I am so sorry. When hell freezes over. Your apologies are not going to be good enough because this is the second time that you have been in trouble today and it's only the first day of school, August 23, 2023. Now, I would like to introduce you to Mr. Clark. He is the vice principal and he is the one, along with me, who's responsible for giving out all the detentions, expulsions, and suspensions. You heard us right. Also, I am warning you right now that I can be very strict with the punishments I give you, so you better get your actions together. Otherwise, you will be getting these punishments very often. Do you understand? Agreed. And so with that, Mr. Clark, what punishment do you think is appropriate for Dr. Leo's behavior toward both Mr. Wolf and Mrs. Grayling? Apparently, I believe that he needs an hour and a half of after-school detention and silent lunch, although we've invented that method ever since. In addition to the two and a half hours of after-school detention that you gave him recently, so a total of four hours of after-school detention in a couple weeks and a silent lunch during Miss Okabana's class lunch period, even losing ten minutes of recess as a result of it. Yes, Kenny, I believe that sounds fair to him. Sorry to bother you two, Stella and Kenny, but I just came in to turn in Dr. Leo Thomas's Chromebook which I had to confiscate from him recently. Oh really, Ashley, what did he do this time? Well, Stella, I caught him playing flash games on Internet Archive via Ruffle instead of doing the assignment and I confiscated his Chromebook after he gave me a really, extremely, nasty, explicit, and underage sexualized attitude. Okay, Ashley, thank you for letting us know. We'll take care of it, we promise. Bye. Bye. All right, let's make that approximately seven and a half hours of detention after school in a couple weeks, and you will serve silent lunch again. We've since invented this method for unruly children every day for the rest of the week. Oh, by the way, we will be confiscating your Chromebook for the next month. Oh, by the way, your parents are now here. So, Dr. Momoboshi and Mr. Clark, what did our son do this time? Well, first, he was being disrespectful to Dr. Momoboshi herself during the assembly. Next, he got his Chromebook confiscated by Miss Okabana for playing flash games on Internet Archive via Ruffle instead of doing his assignment and giving a nasty and explicit attitude to her in the process. And finally, he got kicked out of his physical education class in the gym for disrespecting his PE teachers, while they tried to give an exercise pretest to the class during their specialty class time. Jeez, he's going to be in so much trouble when we get home. He has been given seven and a half hours of after-school detention in a couple weeks from now. Silent lunch, even though we've invented this method ever since, every day for the rest of the week, and his Chromebook will be confiscated for one month. Here are his detention slips. You may take him home now. Come on, Dr. Leo, let's get on home right now. Oh, peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Quiet. Are you kidding me, Dr. Leo? It's your first day of school with us and you already got in this much trouble. You just had to ruin it all. But Mom, Dad, Power Zack, Wonder Vicky, and Flash Ron, I'm extremely sorry for what I did. Nope. Sorry doesn't feed rubble and crew, Dr. Leo. You are grounded until you finish serving all of your detentions. Go. To. Your. Room. Right now. Power Zack, I'll get you next time. Wah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-